In this second uh, presentation, I will be explaining some of the basic ultrasound physics and uh, in particular how this pertains to um, image generation. The learning objectives for this particular topic are to understand uh, the manner of generation and detection of ultrasound, different imaging modalities that are used in echocardiography, and some of the uh, generation of ultrasound artefacts. Ultrasound is generated as a result of the piezoelectric effect. What this refers to is that um, an ultrasound generating crystal, when exposed to an ele uh, electrical current, will oscillate and therefore emit um, a sound wave. Ultrasound refers to sound waves above hearing threshold, in other words, greater than 20,000 hertz. And in medical usage, ultrasound is typically in the range from 1 megahertz up to 15 megahertz. The ultrasound probe functions both as an emitter and receiver of uh, waves. So firstly, electrical current is passed across the uh, ultrasound crystal and ultrasound waves are emitted. Uh, the probe then waits for reflected or returning waves. Um, I'll deal with the manner of reflection uh, in, in a later uh, component of this talk. The returning waves in turn vibrate the crystal, uh, which causes a voltage change across the crystal, which can be displayed. It's important to realise that ultrasound is a wave uh, and as such it uh, goes through a certain amplitude, uh, is the result of rarefication and compression within uh, the tissues and propagates uh, in, a, uh, in a linear fashion. Um, the frequency the wavelength and tissue propagation velocity are interrelated as shown by the uh, equation at right um, and in particular the velocity in tissues is uh, defined as a constant um, it's assumed to be 1540 meters per second and for most of the soft tissues of the, uh, the body that uh, holds true with minor variations the ultrasound image relies on uh, reflection. Reflection occurs at tissue interfaces where two tissues abut that have different density or different um, uh, transmissibility of, uh, of ultrasound. Not all uh, ultrasound waves are going to be reflected and most uh, ultrasound energy is actually uh, lost. This can occur due to refraction, due to attenuation, where uh, the wave energy is converted to kinetic energy and results in heating of tissues. Uh, scattering can occur and also diffraction. This uh, slide shows the interaction of ultrasound with tissues. Uh, we can see uh, medium 1 is uh, a tissue of a certain density, medium 2 is a change in density, a different tissue, and at that interface some of uh, the ultrasound wave is going to be reflected. Uh, angle of uh, incidence and angle of reflection will be the same, so if the uh, ultrasound beam is uh, off axis to the uh, interface, the reflections will pass off uh, and not be detected by uh, the ultrasound probe. So it's important uh, to have the right um, incident uh, angle. Uh, you'll see that some of the waves are refracted either towards midline or away. Some pass through medium uh, two and may be reflected by deeper structures or go on to be attenuated and lost. Uh, it's also possible for waves to be scattered by small uh, irregularities in, in tissues or small densities. The next slide shows uh, the ways in which uh, images are generated by reflected waves. So at left is a probe which emits a strong signal. Some of that is returned from a weak reflector. 
uh, most of the signal passes through that first uh, reflector onto the second, which is a much thicker or denser reflector. Um, because it's denser, only a small proportion of the energy will be able to pass through to hit the third reflector. So in order, the brightest signal or densest signal will come from the thickest reflector, the one in the middle, uh, less from the first reflector and much less from the deepest or furthest reflector. You can also see the influence of uh, the constant velocity of propagation on the delay in display of uh, deeper structures um, as the echoes are returned to the probe. Now the way that uh, the image is displayed depends on the modes of, uh, of the ultrasound. First, uh, we'll describe M mode or motion mode. This um, is shown here, so at the top of the screen is a uh, parasternal long axis view of the heart. So uh, as labelled left ventricle on the left, left uh, atrium uh, as a deep structure, aortic uh, root uh, heading off towards the right of screen. Uh, line A rep represents a single line of sight passing through uh, through the the ventricle, and um, the image generated uh, shows the left ventricular cavity. Um, line B passes through the mitral valve, so the motion of the uh, mitral valve leaflets can be seen. Line C passes through the aortic valve, so here the opening and closing. Uh, opening in this section, closing here of the aortic valve uh, can be seen. This next slide uh, shows B mode. Now B mode uh, is multiple lines of sight generating a fan-like uh, image. Uh, it's what we're familiar uh, with from uh, our fast scanning and other uses. Um, uh, and I'll explain in reference to the, the top image again. So parasternal long axis, um, going back to the first one, there's a cut line going through the left ventricle. So we see the left ventricle in cross section. Now a cut line here goes through the mitral valve. So at right angles, if we were to turn the probe, we would see this image with the mitral valve opening and closing. Lastly, we're at the level of the aortic valve and the aortic valve is seen in cross-section along that line of sight of C uh, with three leaflets opening and closing. The other structures, here we have the right atrium. This flapping structure here is the tricuspid valve. This is the right ventricular outflow tract. Just Faintly vi visible is a linear structure here that appears to open and close. That's a pulmonary valve, main pulmonary artery descending uh, on the right of screen here. I mentioned this is the right atrium, inferior vena cava, interatrial septum, and this is the left atrium. So in summary, we've dealt with the physics of uh, non-Doppler ultrasound modalities. Um, in, this, uh, uh, in this course we won't be dealing with any Doppler related um, imaging and we've also described um, the generation of B and M mode images.